Hello beautiful people, welcome back to 100 days to ML, where we learn a new machine learning algorithm every day. In today's video, we are going to look at the backbone of PyTorch's neural network, Autograd, and then we will see how to build a neural network using PyTorch. So let's go. Okay guys, so let's see what Autograd is. Autograd is the central function of PyTorch for the neural network. It is a defined by run framework, which means that your back propagation is defined by how our code is run and that every single iteration can be different. Autograd is an automatic differentiation function. So how do we use it? First, let's see what the tensor is. Torch.tensor tensor is the central class of the PyTorch package. If we set it, attribute dot requires grad as true it starts to track all the operations on it when we finish computation we call dot backward and we have all the gradients computed automatically the gradient for tensor will be accumulated in dot grad attribute to stop a tensor from tracking history and save memory we call dot detach to detach it from computation history and to prevent future computation from being tracked to prevent tracking history we can also wrap the code block in with torch dot no underscore grad there's one more class which is very important for autograd implementation a function tensor and function are interconnected and build up an acyclic graph that encodes a complete history of computation each tensor has a dot grad underscore fn attribute that refers to a function that has created the tensor except for tensor created by using their grad underscore fun fn is none to compute the d derivatives we call dot backward on a tensor if tensor is a scalar we don't need to specify any argument to backward however if it has more elements we need to specify a gradient argument that is a tensor of matching shape so let's see what it all means first let's import the torch package and then create a tensor x of shape 2 by 2 that is two rows two columns of all ones and we set require grad as true now let us perform some operations let us quickly add 2 to the ones tensor and store it in the variable y so as you can see we have done the addition so the grad function is add backward so y dot grad underscore fn will give us the result generated by addition and the gradient is stored in particular memory as shown here and now perform few more operations and you can see what we have got here z is the result of multiplication and out is the result of mean of z here out is a scalar it means it still it has only one value in its tensor dot requires underscore grad underscore changes and existing tensors requires grad flag in place the input flag defaults to false if not given let me quickly show you how it works so here i have created a random tensor 
of 2 by 2 and perform some operation here and then here I set requires grad as true so till here the requires grad was false and here we have it true and then we get the grad function that is some backward because we got b by summing a square that is a multiplied by a so what is a gradient so let's back propagate now because out contains a single scalar as mentioned above so out dot backwards is equivalent to out dot backward of torch of tensor one and then we print the gradient the gradient is provided by derivative of output by x so the x dot grad we get a matrix of 4.5 so how do we reach this so let's call the out tensor 0 I have the 0 equals to z i that is the mean of z which is in turn equivalent to 3 times of x plus 2 the whole square and we know z equals to 27 therefore differential of output o by x equals to 3 by 2 times x plus 2 hence which is equals to 9 by 2 which is 4.5 we can perform unlimited operations using gradients here for example i'm going to create a random tensor of size 3 and then perform an operation that is multiply it with 2 to get a new tensor y and then i'm going to to use data dot norm function set it check if it is less than thousand and while it is less than thousand i'm going to multiply the y variable with two and store it in y and then we get the values here 147.9114 1103.6178 1.1 1.1 and gradient function as multiply backward here i am going to create a gradient of tensor 0 0.1 1 1.0 and 0 0.001 of data type torch dot float then i am going to get the y backward of gradients and print the result of gradients for x so the gradient is 20484x and the values that we get is multiplied by 0 0.1, 1 1.0 and 0 0.001. Hence we get 204.8000, We can also stop Autograd from tracking history, hence saving the memory using with torch dot no grad and check it with dot requires underscore grad so here first without performing any action let's see if x requires grad and yes it requires grad as we got through then we perform an operation x square and see if it requires grad it still requires grad now we are going to use with torch dot no grad and as we can see here it doesn't require grad because we have got it false hope you guys like this video and in the next video we are we will see how to build a neural network using the autograd concept that we have learned today see you soon in the next video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button below